Hey everybody, so today I'm here to share with you our kindergarten curriculum for 2024. This is what I'm going to be using and have been using with Lexi since the start of this year. I know this video is coming a little later in the year, later than I would like, but I'm here doing it nonetheless. Better late than never. So this is going to be our fourth year homeschooling and Lexi is my youngest. So I have a kindergarten, third grader, and fourth grader. So I've been through kindergarten a couple times now. These are the things that have been working for us the past couple of weeks. I almost like doing this a little bit better because I can tell you guys what's working and what's not. And so far we've been really happy with our curriculum. So I feel pretty confident in what I'm about to suggest. So I'm just gonna go in the order of which we do school. So first things first, she has a binder that's similar to her sister's. Oh, goody. Okay, they're over here. I thought things were missing, but they're not. They're just in the wrong place. It's okay. So over here, underneath this first divider, we have some of the preschool work. This is a printable that I had got for Remy when she was doing her last year of preschool at home while Sophie did her first year of kindergarten. So obviously, that was many moons ago. And still using this, still love it. I've used it with both of these kids now and it's just awesome. So it's just working on letter work, number work, things like that. There's a lot of things missing in here because she likes to hang them up. So there's that as well. But each day she does four pages of this. So one, two, three and four. That's what we do each day. Everything else is just one page except for reading, which I'll get to here in a second. So these reading comprehension pages, again, we've had these for several years. This is by Caitlin Albini. Albini, I'm so sorry. I always butcher her name, but we love her for more reasons than one. Love her reading comprehension. So with these, I read the story to Lexi or dad does, whoever's teaching school that day. And then we ask her the questions and she checks them all her own. So she's not reading these stories yet, but she is able to follow along and she has been doing great with the reading comprehension so far. So just one of those a day. And then on to, oh, these are just the backs. Oh, this is her social studies, I believe. So uh, with social studies, I ended up cutting everything out preemptively and making these little pockets on mess up pages. And then we just actually did the cutting and gluing on the back of here. So like this first unit is just about roles versus laws and good choices versus bad choices, things like that. So that's what we have been doing. That's a look at that. So we just do one of these a day. And obviously when we get to something like this, like who do we celebrate on Veterans Day? She's not gonna be able to write a sentence. That's fine, that's not the point of this. But anyways, there's just a look at some of her social studies that we will be working on through the year. And yeah, I just made these little pockets out of mess up papers so that all the things were already cut out. I found when doing kindergarten with the older girls, that was the one thing I was not good at. I cannot just cut things on the day. I have three kids who need me. I can't be sitting here having a kid wait for me to cut everything out. And it honestly takes them too long to cut out in the kindergarten stage. So for that reason, I do it ahead of time. I use my nose stapler stapler to go ahead and just put this on like a mess up page of something else. So that's what social studies is looking like. I will link all these below. I'm sorry I did not say that in the beginning of the video, but of course I will have everything linked. I do believe everything with the exception of reading and math has came from Teachers Pay Teachers. That's where we prefer. I like educators making the things that they're learning from. They went to school for it, I trust them. And most of the things on Teachers Pay Teachers are meant to be used in public schools. Most public schools are still secular. So for that reason, I don't really have to worry about that, at least for now. So anyways, this is a look at her science. So this is Kinder Science, this is by Tara West. Again, this is something that both of my older girls did. So this is our third time with this and it has been going spectacular. Yes, then there's another another page of the, uh, the pocket that I talked about. But yes, that's science. We do one of those a day. So that is science and then social studies, reading comprehension, and then some letter number work right there. And then after that, we typically go into math, which we keep right here in this pocket. So we use dimensions 
Singapore Dimensions math. We love this. So I accidentally ordered the wrong one. <laughs> I should have ordered KA and KB, but uh, nonetheless, this is what we're working with. So what it typically looks like is, you know, start a lesson and then you go until you see the pencil down here. That's the end of one lesson. And then what you do is you go over into your workbook and this pencil down here says where to pick up in your workbook at. So page five, you turn to page five. There's your work that you need to do for the day. And again, you just go to the pencil. So it's really nice, really easy. Again, this is technically for a preschool, but it's not hurting to do. She's having fun with it. I don't need her doing multiplication by the end of kindergarten. It's fine. So we're gonna use what I bought. Uh, and I also do think Dimensions Singapore Math, as much as we love it, I do find it a bit advanced. And I do think it moves just a little bit quick. So my older kids are not necessarily where they're supposed to be, and that's okay. I would rather them understand and enjoy math. I don't mind taking it slower. And with this, we just do one a day, one lesson a day. So she would just do these two pages that day and then go over here in the workbook and do whatever correlated to that. Last two subjects are grammar and reading. So with grammar, we have Kinder Grammar. This is from Tara West. Again, third time using it. Love it. I will say that I think you could use this for both Kinder and first grade. I also think that the second grade grammar you could use for second and third, and then third grade grammar for third and fourth. My opinion. Anyways, so that is a look of everything that's included throughout the entire year for kindergarten. So I just keep that on the front just for myself. But yeah, so what it looks like, we are already done with the nouns, obviously, but each day she has an activity. So this is stuff for me to read or dad, again, whoever's teaching, teaching, not reaching. Anyways, there's also usually some kind of printout. I keep these for ourselves to have to look through a binder of resources. But anyways, we learn about whatever we're supposed to learn about in that day, and then they have an activity. Again, some of these are missing because she's hung them up, but you know, the very first day it says, illustrate a noun person that is special to you. So she drew her best friend, Leo. So that's just an idea of what they're doing. Again, we're not looking for anything extravagant. This is very reasonably paced. These are how I like things to be paced. It's just one thing a day, and then by the end of the week, we are moving on. So, you know, it just, continues throughout the year. That's what it's going to look like. You've got the couple pages of lessons, what you read, what you say. Oh, I did not get everything out of this. And then sometimes there's pictures and work to do with those, but uh, most of the time it is just worksheets. And up here, I love the fact that she has them labeled day one, day two, day three. So that just helps me keep everything straight. But yeah, it makes it really easy, really streamlined. I mean, I can't recommend this enough. It is great. And like I said, I will probably repeat this with her next year. Is that redundant? Sure, maybe. But she's not going to retain what prepositions are as a kindergartner. Will she understand the moment? Sure, but then we'll do it all again next year. Hopefully it sticks a little bit more as she's growing and understanding more. So. I use the kinder one for first and second. Moving on to Lexi's very last curriculum thing. That's the reading lesson. I cannot recommend this enough. This is the third copy that I've bought and that is because it is taught each one of my girls how to read. I cannot recommend it enough. $25 on Amazon, although I think it's starting to go a little bit, uh, it's getting a little bit more expensive because they're now gonna put a spiral on it and that way it's easier to flip through because right now it's just a book like this. So it can, I think a spiral is warranted and I think it might be easier. Also with a spiral, you could easily take out the worksheets and copy those beforehand because like with this, this is the reason why I bought three new copies. The things that we're learning on, like these pages, these are completely fine. But then you have ones where she was to do activities and you know, I can't just erase that. It doesn't come up. So, you know, I think the spiral would be really good. I would just copy all the worksheets that you get from it if you have future kiddos who are gonna also use it. And that way you don't have to buy more than one copy, my opinion. So yes, this is a look at what the reading lesson is. It is awesome. 
So as someone who reads very well, English was one of my better subjects in school and I feel like I understand it really well personally. I'm still terrified to teach my children how to do it. And it's one of those things where you really don't wanna mess it up. So I feel like this explains it super well. Each one of these pages is meant for the adult to read through before we start with the lesson. This is something that even my husband really enjoys. He's not a reader. It wasn't one of his best subjects in school and it breaks it down super easy so everybody's understanding. It's kind of like the Singapore Dimensions math for me of reading. It just allows everybody to take it at their own pace and understand it thoroughly. So you just start off with recognizing that letters and sounds are two different things. And then you slowly work on a set of letters and their sounds. And it depends, honestly, with this one, it's just about mood and temperament and what we have going on in the day about how many pages we do. You know, we might do four one day because she's really loving it and she's flying through it. Or if it's real tough, we're only gonna do like back and front and we're gonna be done. So you can see it does have some writing things over here. So she gets a little practice with those things and there's also tracing letters, places. So right now this is where we are. I think my older girls had a little bit more of a knack for reading when we got started and they picked this up pretty easily. However, with Lexi, she's never had a real interest in actually reading the words. She loves looking at pictures and stuff. She likes pretending to read, but actually trying is just not up her alley. <laughs> so I was kind of worried about how this would go, but she's been loving it. She really has. It's been working super well. And I just, like I said, guys, I can't recommend it enough love this and I would get the spiral bound that way you only have to buy one copy and then just make copies of the worksheets but yeah that is everything for our kindergarten curriculum everything that she does in a day if you guys have any questions you can leave them down in the comments below I will link everything for you like I already mentioned if you stuck around for the entire video why don't we go ahead and put a strawberry in the comments so I know that you hung out with me the entire time Thank you so much if you did. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.